I'll be happy with uh, where I'm at and where things are going when I reach the point to look like that. <laughs> Today, we are reacting to some extreme body modifications. You have to see some of these mods to believe them. All right, let's dive right in. The Black Alien Project refers to the, let's say, passion project of Anthony Lafredo. Whoa, so what is going on with this guy? There's definitely implants underneath the skin, definitely on the scalp, the eyebrows. Looks like there's some modifications to his nose as well to make it look more of an open hole. The way our nostrils are made, actually, air goes up versus into our face. However, instead of buying a house or a car, he spent it all on body modification that's left him fingerless, noseless, wow. airless, and walking around the streets of Barcelona. I also see there's like green of the, the eyes, the sclera, which is the white parts of the eyes, are actually green. You know, I do know that people attempt to do tattooing of this. If you get the ink within the globe of the eye itself, it's gonna cause issues. You might have trouble seeing. It's gonna cause problems with getting images to your retina. Yeah, it's picking up for Dunphy. It's on hold, I believe. He claimed that the most painful body mod was the tattooing and splitting of his tongue. Oh, he's got a split tongue. Oh my gosh. Lafredo would travel the Mexico to receive an experimental and internationally illegal surgery to remove two fingers from each of his hands. I don't believe you're allowed to just remove bones for the sake of removing. He's also added ribs to his arms. Why? Look at his arm. He's got ribs to his arm, so he wants it to look like ribbing. Oh my god. Bulged his eyebrows to hang over his eye sockets and has added a gauge to his lower lip. But the question still remains, what will he look like when he's 100% complete? Wow. What would you do if you actually saw this individual walking the street? Talk to him, you run away. Run, Forrest, run! Ranges the spectrum of you know, body modification versus like, are you having some sort of body dysmorphia going on that requires you to do this? Do you really just enjoy the transformation or is there another deeper component to this? It'd be interesting to have an interview with this individual. Dennis began turning himself into a tiger 20 years ago. So far, undergoing 10 extreme wow. body modification surgeries. Felines and different animals have sharp teeth, as we call them canines, so they can rip tissue and bite into it. And as humans, we only have very little canines. Most of our teeth are flat or made for grinding, and that's why they say that we are omnivores, potentially. Well, in the Navy, I started the tattooing. We started off with the uh, eyebrow implants. He's got eyebrow implants to give him potentially more of a ridge to the eyebrow itself. Some people are just born with very prominent ridges. They're protective. And the, uh, the bridge implant here. That actually will mess with your vision. When kids are born, they almost appear to be a little bit cross-eyed. <laughs> And because of the bridge of the nose is much more flat as we're little babies. So as we get a little bit older, the bridge grows and it actually allows our eyes to focus independently of each other. The uh, reshaping of my ears to give them a more cat-like appearance. And now he's got a modification to his ears to make a little bit of a tip, a little bit of an implant. There's not much blood that is on the ear itself up there, so you gotta be really careful of infection. Cleft my lip, relocated my septum to change the uh, profile of my nose. People are literally born with a cleft lip or a cleft palate, and they actually have surgeries to fix them versus this individual had surgery to make one. And you can tell just by the way his mouth is moving that bodies aren't made to have it this way because he's having trouble just communicating as best he could. I'm going to eventually be putting uh, transdermal implants uh, somewhere around here so I can mount uh, conventional type tiger ears. I haven't decided exactly how we're gonna mount them yet. Oh my gosh, it's a transdermal, so through the skin, implants so you can attach ears to it. I'll be happy with uh, where I'm at and where things are going when I reach the point to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has that inner tiger in them. Bobby Joe Wesley is on a one woman mission to become the proud owner of the world's biggest hips. The last I measured my hips, they were almost 100. Oh my gosh, why, 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 why would you purposely do these things? This woman's structure that she currently has is being supported by a very small frame. Bodies aren't made to handle that. With all this weight and tissue, you're increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome, increasing your risk of diabetes. These are all things that are very concerning. I like them. They're like saddlebags. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I like them. They're like saddlebags. When I go down up the steps, I have to turn sideways. I can't sit in chairs with arms. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. And then how do you get on an airplane? Those airplane seats are tiny. Sideways, up and down stairs, sideways through doors, and all that movement and walking in those weird directions is not good just from biomechanics. The last time I went to a doctor, I weighed in at 542. I'm still five foot two inches. Five foot two inches, 542 pounds. That BMI is equivalent to morbid obesity. Bobby puts a lot of her weight gain down to having an underactive thyroid and insists it's not down to her diet or lifestyle. She's telling us it's related to her underactive thyroid. There are people out there that do have hypothyroidism, but basically where your thyroid is not you're producing enough of the hormones that you need. But there are medications to actually help this and it can be fixed very simply. People look at me and they say, oh, she's big. She must eat a lot. No, to be honest, I don't eat a lot. It's medical. Wow. It could be medical, but I'm watching this salad being made that's got a bunch of carbs on it. You got cheese on there that's got a lot of calories because of the fat. For dressings, the serving sizes are supposed to be like super small tablespoons, which are not even a quarter, less than that of what was just poured on there. I understand that, that I'm putting myself at risk. I want to be known for something. Oh, uh, she wants to be known for something in her life to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. Maybe get there quickly, be done with it, and be that opposite, and it's gonna take a while. It took her a long time to get that weight. You have to really think when you're losing it, you need to process it and lose it in the same kind of speed. Romario DeSantis. Oh, we got a bro. It's huge frame on his favorite superhero. The Incredible Hulk. Those trapezius muscles, those big neck muscles, that does not look normal. You can but his obsession with injecting muscle-enhancing oh. oil into his body. Whoa, muscle-hardening oil. His biceps and his triceps are weirdly huge, and then he's got these little tiny shoulders. You can see his deltoids don't even fit his body. It doesn't even make sense. The doctor told me that he was like necrosis in his braço. So necrosis basically means like dead tissue or dying tissue. When you have that in there, it actually leads to infection and the infection can be implanted so deeply into your tissues that the only way to treat it is actually to cut it out, AKA amputation. But he yeah. would stop at nothing to make his look even more extreme. This here was the most grave. Because as the beast made this format here, it was all filled with it. And inside of it, Wow, you've seen the images and all the soft tissue. It looks like an MRI. You're seeing all these abnormal formations within the tissue. Could be air, could be fluid, also could be rocks and different materials or hardening of the tissue itself. That is not good. For semanas, I bought a substance, né? Uma substance chamada Istigo. So he's an individual that wants an advantage and wants to have the best modifications that he can find. So now he's trying to use horse hormones. You gotta be careful allergic reactions that are, can occur from other species. He's getting these hormones and these meds from somebody down the street that's concocting them. Wow, wow, wow. So super crazy interesting. These body modifications are literally mind blowing to me. Something that I don't see very often. If you guys thought this was really cool, definitely check out this playlist right here. Binge watch the whole thing. And please make sure you subscribe, turn the bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.